viewers, welcome to the final boss fight, at least I think it is. I mean, it's Jordan's mom against me and my my glowing blade, and God help me, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Uh, these things are kind of cool, because uh, they're statues I can push, and I can pull. Uh, I think my sword protects me from a lot of things. Things that I'm trying to do. I got a question, though. What am I trying to do with these statues? I mean, I'm pretty safe so long as I hide behind them. But the question is, uh, what am I really trying to portray other than, you know, like, you smack it, and then she does the thing, and then you run to this. Alright. Is that is that what this boss fight is? Smack her and then you know hide behind the statue so that the her power does not destroy your sword. Where is my sword? Uh, do you see it? I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I think I understand the point of these statues. You know. Because they protect you. They got they got some sort of Yorda holiness to them. I cannot be hurt when I have them. Alright, I think I understand this boss fight just a bit better. I'm gonna get I'm gonna hide behind this one and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Back. And then I'm gonna run to the statue. I think I figured it out. It just took me a little bit. It took it took me a, it took me a try, you know, because again, this is all blind. I, I have no idea what this boss fight entailed going into it, but now that now that I think I finally understand it, it's basically just you keep trying to wear down her barrier, and I think the sword protects me, so I don't have to worry about these statues. I mean, it seems like the sword has that kind of holy light, uh, but at the same time. I think I have to worry just ever so slightly. Is that my sword? Yes, it is. All right. Ooh, that was close. Looks like it also looks like her uh, her her attacks are getting a lot more frequent because uh, you know she doesn't she doesn't like me. Uh, question, where is my sword now? Where did it... Is that it? Oh, she flinged it all the way over there. Alright. I gotta use this as protection. How far are we talking? Okay, it's a little ways. I got, I got, I got. Go for it. There we go. Oh yeah. I, I think I can, I think I can do this without too much delay. I think I'm gonna be okay. Uh, the only thing is, you yeah, know, it's just trying to make sure I have the timing. Oh, her attacks are getting a lot more frequent. Yeah, all right. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Here we go.
that, that that's it the credit sequence <laughs> I, I I am so confused and conflicted um okay so like as usual I'm trying to be quiet during the cutscenes because you know they're, they're very cinematic and you know that, that's where you get a lot of the the story but at the same time the tower crumbles and, and Yorda turns into her mom or absorbs her powers or I, I'm not even sure really what happened I mean it seems like even though I struck her mom down um, Yorda got like her mom's powers or whatever and like she, she she's bound to the castle or at least that's what I think happened she's bound to the castle but we we escaped and I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm sad this is the saddest ending I've ever seen since Lisa the painful RPG it's it's just it's it's it, I, she's my bae I love her <laughs> I mean, like, I have that attachment, you know, I have to protect her. That's what I do. She's my bae. I don't care what anyone says, and we'll never be together. This was all we had together. It's sad. I didn't even get to, like, hug her or anything. It was just, I pass out, and she sends me off. And she says something in Helion, but again, I don't speak it, so I don't know what she said. It's probably be well or farewell or something, something really sad like that. Oh, this is this horrendous. This uh, I don't want to say this was horrendous because it really wasn't. I feel I feel sad because you know I didn't actually get to say goodbye or anything like that. She'll never know that I care, even though I think she knows. Also, we lost we lost our amazing sword, <laughs> but I mean, small price to pay. I don't care about the sword. I don't care about anything. It was just the fact that I had someone I had to protect. That was all this I cared about. She's gone. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. That's how I feel, viewers. Also, I lost my horns. Again, another small price to pay because I'm heartbroken. I mean, really, at the end of this, what do I get? I mean, you you might say you got a tell out of it. Yeah, but I, I passed out. What if I, was, what if I thought I was dreaming that? I probably don't even remember my horns getting broken. I mean, I guess when it comes down to it, the real solace I get in any of this is like Shadow of the Colossus, which I'm looking forward to. I don't care what anyone says. It's an amazing game, and you know what? This this was a pretty this was pretty this is pretty good. You know, it's it's worth trying out. That's how I feel. It was worth playing. It was worth trying out. I'm, I'm glad I did it. Uh, I still feel heartbroken because my bae's gone. <laughs> She's gone. And it's sad. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay in my bed all depressed the rest of the night. Because that's what I got going on in my life. I don't know. I'm sorry, viewers. I'm just, <laughs> it's not a happy end. It's, it's sad. I'm sad. Maybe maybe there's a follow-up cutscene. What? Oh. Oh, I have control. Okay, alright, I thought I interrupted, like, the amazing cutscene. I was like, what's going on? But it turns out I have control. Okay, game's not over. <laughs> I... I thought it was a follow-up cutscene or something, but no, I get to keep playing on. 
Uh, also, my controller turned off, so I apologize for that. Apparently, the game uh, thought something happened, or apparently the game didn't know what to do with that situation, but whatever. Uh, I got a question. Where am I going? What am I doing? Also, I'm bleeding. Wherever, the where my horns got cut off, I'm bleeding over there. Uh, is this the right way? I was not ready for this, okay? I, I just gotta make that apparent. I was not ready for any of this. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I get to see Yorda? Do we get to reunite? I mean, that would be fantastic. I, that would that would be like, ah, oh, th that makes up for everything. This is like the ending to Shovel Knight, essentially. Uh, that was traumatizing. Me and Chaz cried over that. Or at least emotionally cried. That's, that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, but I don't know. what. Where am I? It's a very nice scenic place. I mean, you know, I like it. It's, there's the beach. You got some grass. You got the ocean. Uh, wait. Is, is, that, is that her? Yes, I will save. All right. Um, I I I retract everything I said. I was heartbroken, but I'm not heartbroken anymore. That was that was perfect. I'm glad that happened. Oh, it's exactly like Shovel Knight in so many ways. I'm actually crying. Just just cheers of heartbreak, heartache, and joy right now. Ah. Oh. I don't even care if that's the most effeminate thing I've said all Let's Play or even period in this whole channel. I was actually just really traumatized. Now I'm happy. Alright, you know what? I'm going to end the Let's Play. Um, I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to keep recording, but I'm, I'm ending it now. So I, I will see you next Let's Play. I don't know. We're going to move on to Shadow of the Colossus. Alright. Later.